Namaste. In this video, we will make a block diagram and do simulation. So, first of all, a question arises What is a block diagram? A block diagram is a 2D diagram in which you can ana analyze your 2D mechanism or sketch. So, first of all, we will make a block diagram. I am simply making a piston piston crank mechanism. You can make whatever you want. Uh, it is just give you idea how to make it. Click OK. Now right click on it. Go to make block. Now select the line. Click OK. Now this line become uh, now this line become a block diagram. Now right click on block. Click on save block. And uh, save it as crank. Click save. Make sure you save the block diagram from here because if you try to save from here, uh, you will see there is no uh, option for saving the block diagram from, from this side or option. So always save your block diagram from here. Now let's make our another part. So first, first we need to convert it to make block, click OK, now save it. And now we will make our last part. Select the select full rectangle, right click on it, make block, click OK, save as piston. Now click on new, click on assembly, click OK. After that, click on create layout. Now press Ctrl plus 8. Make sure you click on create layout because basically you are using a 3D sketch, uh, you are using a 2D sketch, not uh, assembly any parts. So you need to create a layout. Now after that, click on insert block. Click browse. Go to desktop because I save my files there. First of all, crank. After that, exit because I just want one part. Now click on insert block, click browse. Make sure you remember where you are saving the files because you are browsing the files from where you save it. Click OK. Now only piston block is missing so we are going to browse it now we import all all the parts now let's make them As you can see, we have made our crank sketch mechanism. 
now let's try to do simulation knit go to motion study uh, first of all go to solidworks add-in select solidworks motion now go to motion analysis Uh, first of all save the part save and exit the create layout just remember uh, you can't use motion analysis until you uh, denote exit from the create layout okay now click on motor it is asking for the uh, direction directions just click on it here you can see the motor location so click on it and you can change the direction as you can see if i click on it it moves anti-clockwise if i click on it it moves anti-clockwise so you can control the direction from here now click ok after that click on calculate you can see it's uh, it has done calculating now click on results and plots select displacement acceleration select linear velocity select magnitude now it is asking for the point i am selecting this point click ok here you can see it plot the linear velocity diagram at initial and at that phase and after it constants so you can plot different kinds of graph you can also trace the path of the mechanism click on linear go to trace path now select the point click ok as you can see it trace the path but here you can see that it becomes a line not a fully circle so to get a better result click on motion study properties increase the frame rate per second let's say 66 click ok now click on calculate as you can see it becomes circle and your result become more you know accurate and good i hope you like this tutorial if you have any doubt and queries don't forget to ask question and make sure you like our facebook page the link is in the description thanks for watching and have a great day